What's up guys, my name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you 7 steps that you need to follow to avoid the crashes during gameplay in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 and also Season 3. We're gonna start out with the step number 1. In order to complete the step number 1, we need to close the game because we're not gonna change nothing in Fortnite. Okay, so anytime that you close Fortnite, usually the Epic and Launcher will pop up. If you don't pop up the Epic and Launcher, you need to open this one and what we're gonna do is do the first step of this video, which is uninstalling and installing the game for Here's the thing, if you don't have the goodest internet, please try to do this step because it's really important, but if there's no way you can do that because your internet is really bad, I totally understand and you can skip the step number one. The step number two is more linked to this first step, so if you cannot uninstall and install the game, you can go ahead and move on to the step number two. On the step number one, what we're gonna do is real simple, we're gonna go into the library of the Epic Game Launcher, and usually over here you will have all the games that you have been collecting collecting in the epic game launcher for free or your purchase what you're gonna do here is go into the title and type fortnite once you find the fortnite game what you're gonna do is click on the three little dots and over here you're gonna uninstall the game once the epic game launcher finish all the uninstallation install the game back and try to see if you don't have crashes no more in the fortnite after you install back the game okay so now it's turn of the step number two for the step number two we're not gonna move on from the library because we need to check something in the options of the fortnite game so go to library, find the Fortnite game, and now you need to click on the three little dots. Click on manage, and what we're gonna do on the step number two is verify the files. As you can see on manage, we're gonna find this option of verify files. This is really important because if you have any corrupt file or any pending update, what you can do is verify the files so the Fortnite can fix any error or issue that you're currently having with an update once the verification finished. So what you're gonna do is click on verify and the verification will start. If you have any update for some reason, is because you are fixing some issues or errors that your Fortnite have. Once the verification finish, try to test Fortnite and make sure that the Fortnite doesn't have any more any crashes when you are playing. If you still having crashes, don't worry because we're gonna move on to the step number three. Okay, so the step number three will be change the DX12 to DX11. Probably a lot of people has been experiencing crashes because they play on DX12. If that is not your case, you can go ahead and move on to the step number four. But on the step number three, what we're gonna do is use a secret command in order to run always Fortnite with DX11 no matter if you have active the DX12. So what we're gonna do is click on the profile of your Epic Game Launcher, go to the settings, scroll all the way down, find the manage games and as you can see here probably you will have all the games that you have installed on the Epic Game Launcher. What you're gonna do is open the Fortnite game and probably you will not have this box of the additional command line argument. You need to active this option and you need to put the next command which is D3D 11. It's really simple, you can type it manually and also you will have it on the description. Once you copy this command or once you type the command, choose minimize this, go back and open Fortnite and make sure to don't have any crashes when you're playing or any crashes at all. Now we're gonna move on to the step number 4 which is uninstalling and installing the anti-cheat of Fortnite. So well, on this case what we're gonna do is really simple, we need to go to library, find the Fortnite game one more time, click on the three little dots, then manage, click on the folder installation, then we need to go to the next location location will be for the game binarix wing 64 then as you can see here we'll have two folders easy anti-cheat and easy anti-cheat camo we need to open the second one which is the camo and we're gonna run the setup okay so here's the anti-cheat and what we're gonna do here is something really simple we're gonna do two things the first is repair the service which is something really quick and click on finish now run fortnite and make sure to don't have any crash when you're playing if that doesn't work go back to the anti-cheat camo run the setup one more time and what you're gonna do once you open back the anti cheat is uninstall by clicking this uninstall button. Once you do that, click on install anti cheat manually and click on finish. And now try to open the Epic Game Launcher one more time and try to run Fortnite and make sure to don't have any error or any issue with the crashes when you're playing. If that doesn't work, what we're gonna do is go ahead and go back to the library and follow the step number five, which is going to the library, going to the Fortnite game, on manage, open the folder, clicking on Fortnite game, binaries wing 64 and over here what we're gonna do is to scroll down until we find the app of fortnite which is fortnite clean wing 64 shipping over here click right into the properties and what we're gonna do is make sure to find the compatibilities active the compatibility mode which is this option usually you will have turned this off we're gonna turn on and we're gonna put windows 8 also we're gonna run this program as an administrator click on apply and click on ok anytime that you run fortnite probably it will request you some extra permissions but that will help you increasing the fps and also avoid 
completing the crashes during gameplay. So please make sure to do this step number five and we're gonna move on to the step number six. So well for the step number six on this case yep we're not gonna use the epic game launcher. We're gonna go into the game versus settings folder. In order to do that we need to press the window key plus the R and we're gonna open the run tab. Here we need to type up data and click on ok. Then we need to go to the next location which is on local. We need to find the Fortnite game folder and as you can see we're gonna have this folder called save. This is really important folder. Anytime that you run Fortnite and if you don't have this folder this will be created automatically. So if we delete this you don't need to worry because anytime that you run Fortnite this will be created automatically without our request. So you can so what you're gonna do is delete that folder and what you're gonna do is run Fortnite one more time and make sure to don't have any type of issues when you're playing like crashes or anything at all. You need to remember guys that your settings that you're currently using will be deleted because on that folder is also the gamers settings and that's it for the step number six. And okay guys, we're on the last step, which is the step number seven. On this step, what we're gonna do is make sure that you have the most recent drivers of your GPU. On the link of this video, on the description of this video, we have three links. One for Intel, AMD, and Nvidia. All of them will help you getting the most recent driver depending on your GPU or CPU. If you are not using a GPU, of course. On my case, do I don't need that links. I'm just gonna go to the GeForce experience of my GPU because I'm using a GPU for NVIDIA and I'm just gonna update the drivers that as you can see the one that I'm using is an old version. Now recently I have a new update for my drivers and what I'm gonna do is only install the most recent driver. You need to know that if you don't have the most recent driver that could be the reason why you have any issues so please make sure to check if you have the most recent driver of your GPU and if you do don't worry that's not the issue. That's pretty much the seven steps that you need to follow in order to avoid the crashes during gameplay. If you followed all the steps and you still have any issues, we're gonna check one extra setting that probably could be the reason why you have crashes during gameplay. But most likely, if it this, if the last step that I'm gonna show you doesn't work, I'm truly sorry, but probably that's gonna be an issue with your PC. And for the extra step that we're gonna check are the minimum system requirements for Fortnite. And as you can see, if you don't follow the minimum system requirement, probably you will have issues like crashes. You're not gonna be able to run the Fortnite and you're gonna have multiple issues when you try to play Fortnite. As you can see for the minimum which is the minimum recommended or the minimum requirement to don't have any type of issue are the next. On video card it will be an Intel HD 4000 and on Nvidia an AMD Radeon Vega 8. On processor you need to have at least Core i3-3225 which is the minimum. On memory you need to have a gigabyte of RAM if you have less you will have a lot of issues if you have more you're not gonna have any issue. And also on the operating system need to be Windows 10 at least. If it is Windows 8 below, you're gonna have multiple issues and probably that could be the reason why you have crashes during gameplay or crashes anytime that you open Fortnite. And also for the Mac, well that's the Mac service, I don't know what exactly is the operating system of Mac, so I'm not sure about this one. And also a last settings that you need to check for the players that play on Mac. Remember that Fortnite is no longer support an NVIDIA graphic cards on MacBook. So if you have a Mac with NVIDIA card, that probably could be the issue why you have crashes when you try to play this game. And guys, that's pretty much everything. That's the steps that I recommend you to follow in order to avoid the crashes during gameplay. And I'm 100% sure if you follow them, you're not gonna have never any type of crashes. If you keep experiencing crashes during gameplay, please make sure that your PC doesn't have any type of viruses or your PC have enough space to run Fortnite because this hardware space is really important. So guys, I believe that's pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this video helped, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Lappy and I see you soon. Bye bye.